Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our speaker today is Brother Abdul Rashid Mosiamedi, who is from South Africa. Brother Abdul Rashid has been trained in comparative studies and most tours. He has also taught comparative studies at secondary school level. His topic today is Easter has nothing to do with Nabi Isa alayhi salam, Jesus. Egypt. 
So that's where some of the groups of Illuminatus they do exist because they were founded somewhere, taking all these symbols, taking all the kind of worships from Egypt. And therefore, as we see, why Easter is there in Christianity? They infiltrated Christianity. Like they infiltrated the teachings, the monotheism teachings of Jesus Alayhi Salam. So, on that point, that is why today Christianity is a mixed up religion. Why is it a mixed up religion? Why we have Easter in that religion which has nothing to do with Jesus Christ? That is why we say Easter has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Because the infiltration that occurs brought some changes in the teachings of Isa I don't know if you understand my point. The simplicity of it is the Christians, those who are in ancient Babylons, and the Christians who were in ancient before the Babylons, they were supposed to take the Easter, Easter festival and then continue it on Passover. That means to overtake the Passover, so the Passover could be normal. But they failed to do so. Why? Because Passover is of Judaism. It's not for the, the Christians. So, if we look today, we have a, a lot of customs. In the whole world, why is that? It's so much important to the world. Why is it recognized? Well, those people with big money, they push it in any way possible they can to make it be as it is today. If you can understand, the world is run by the corrupt people, the Illuminatus people, free agendas. They don't hide anything in your side. So that is why today, as we see all this thing that is happening today, it's because of them. Easter is because of them. Christmas is because of them. Because there is not any record whatsoever, if we can say, uh, when was Jesus resurrected. They cannot give you a specific date. And therefore, if Easter existed before Jesus, and today the Christian claim that uh, uh, it is to celebrate Jesus' resurrection, was he there before? No, he wasn't. During the time of Nimrod, he wasn't. Who today is called Ba, the Sun God? Jesus was not there. Amongst us, he was not there. But today, Easter is there to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Alayhi Salam. Which is totally confusing, blasphemy, if we can put it that way, because it's of a pagan, it's originated from the pagan religion, the ancient Babylon. So, let us at least look at the facts. Let us at least not sit by what the very same people who are trying to bring to Islam are uh, destroying Islam. We are helping them. Trust me and believe me, we are helping them. How are we doing that? Through media. Through our businesses. Socially, politically, psychologically. We are helping them to destroy the very same religion we are bringing, we are trying to convey to them, we are trying to show them that here it is the truth that you must follow. They were able to push Easter until today. Now look at the problem they put in the mind of many. They were able to, to convert lies into something seems to be the truth. So that you, when you see it, it is like that. And mind you, let me tell you something. All of us in here, brothers, grandfathers, fathers, we don't see things as they are. We see things as we are. You know why? Because we cannot understand the visuality of that thing that we see. And the very same thing happens. We don't understand things as they are. We understand things the way we want, the way we like. That's why today you see lots of people, lots of our mothers, our fathers are lost out there. We are here. We are on the right track, but they are out there following something they don't understand. Like last night, one, one person was asking me, why are you not celebrating Easter? I tell her, I don't have Easter just because I know it's not of my religion, it's paganism, so I don't follow paganism. They are out there. What are we doing for that? Now you look at one thing, they are sabotaging Islam. They are using every effort they can get to sabotage Islam. But we are there helping them too. Fighting amongst us, 
But I don't tell you, we are not fighting about us. Satan is among us. We are weaker than we can think. Not stronger than we can. That is why we have Easter as a major festival of Christianity. We have Christmas. Because they are pushing all those things by any resource they can get, by any force means necessary. What are we doing? What are we doing? That's why right now, you see, we are stuck to somewhere somehow. We cannot see. Are we on the right track? We can come to mosque and pray. Today is Easter. We don't have much people here, you can see. As all friends, this is normal. You know why? They are celebrating Easter. But they say they don't celebrate Easter. But they are amongst those who are celebrating Easter now as we speak. Because you are helping them and you don't understand or you don't see that you are helping them. The way we represent Islam, our identity, when you are out there, walking out there, outdoor, believe me, you are a Muslim. Whatever you do, whether it's wrong or right, you are destroying your religion, not you, not your identity, but your religion. That's why them, they push those relationships, they push Easter aside, they stay aside. You cannot see who they are. But for us, you can see who we are. Because that's what we are. But we don't understand or we don't see that's what we are. How strong are we? Islam is the only religion, the only true message we have. They have Christianity, which is totally corrupted, which is totally not what we think it is. But look how faithful they are. Look in every deed they do, how strong they are. Are we that strong? No. We aren't. We are not strong. Because we are not pushing. That is why this religion, if I may put it correctly, it might fall. But remember the Quran and the Hadith of Sunnah, the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They will never perish, but we can perish. No, why? Because we are helping them. We are helping them to destroy the very same religion we are in. If a man like Bush can kill plus or minus 3,000 people to sacrifice, for sacrifice only for free nationalship, for eliminate, what about us? What, what is it that we can't spend it? That much, we cannot do what effort or sacrifice we ought to hold back and say, no, let them do it. The way we treat our workers in there, we are helping them. The way our organizations are run, we are helping them. The way we pray or the way whatever we say out there, we are helping them. That's promotion. That's promotion. Today, today as they are out there, okay, they know. One of them may say, you know, last yesterday somebody told me that he, he doesn't have Easter just because he's a Muslim. He said, I know that was Muslim. You know why? Through actions, through works, the speeches we give, we have to bring them closer, but we cannot bring them if we have been sabotaged. We help them to sabotage our own religion. The question is, where are we going with that? We can come in the mosque and pray every day. Be ourselves here in the mosque. What is it that we represent? Who are we out there? Are we the same people who are here today when we are out there? Are we? <coughs> Let's ask those questions too. We said we have to lay examples for our path. Let's not say, okay, we have to propagate Islam. No, let Islam also propagate Islam itself through our works. You cannot give a man a fish every day. You must teach him how to catch a fish too. Because you cannot give him fish until he dies or until Allah takes him. Is that possible? No. It's not. It's not possible. So let's not help those who are celebrating Easter today to sabotage the very same religion which they should come in. Do you know, and also one thing I should put out to you, do you know why they are sabotaging Islam? Because that's the only religion they know it will rule the world. That is what they are afraid of. If you mind, you can look at it. Why are they attacking 
Islamic country, like for example, there is a private organization in Nigeria, underground financed by those Freemasons, which is Boko Haram. They are not Muslim, they don't have Islamic basis. But what are they doing? They can learn Arabic, know how to read the Quran, wear like you, talk like you, walk like you, sleep like you. That's the way to kill an enemy. Because when you want to kill an enemy, an Arab, you must dress like an Arab, talk like an Arab. Every you know to kill an Arab without causing any. Anything at all, without posing anything that will jeopardize your mission. That's what they are doing. Why? Because of oil. Already, that oil has done what? Has destroyed the image of Islam in Nigeria. And what are we saying about that? Nothing. That is why you see this is so much bigger. That's how they push it to be bigger. What are we doing to prevent those situations? We sit by and say, no, they're not Muslims. No, you are right. They're not Muslims when you're sitting here when you're just talking alone. But what are you doing to that person? What are you saying to that person who knows they are Muslims? What are you correcting to that man which is being programmed by the media? I have a lot of work. I'm a, one of my friends is the son of a chicken baby vendor, Mr. Baby. He asked me, where is your organization? What are they saying about Boko Haram? Okay. How strong are we? We have the perfect religion. Why can't we make it more perfect? As it already been perfect. It's like a beautiful wife when you find on the streets. What do you do? You beautify her more. What about this that which is of God? It's not that which is going to pass now. What about it? What are we saying about it? My brothers, grandfathers, we have resources. We have everything. We have all the truth. The Christians are helping us. I have uh, the website called the Biblical Vegetarians. You will be surprised how the Christian analyzes the Bible. He's a Christian. He's helping me. And I'm happy about that because I'm also using it too. Can we be strong for our brothers in Palestine? Our brothers everywhere, wherever they have been treated like animals. We are not animals. That's because of one religion which they fear the most. I want to ask you, don't sit back here. You can come here. Mommy, don't know where I'm from. There's a lot of crusaders because of Easter. Where is ours? I walk by a person and ask myself, where is ours? If I had money or a good one, even a small one. But I don't have that. And it doesn't need more to do that. That is why today you find Christianity. It is not Christianity as you think. It is mixed with Illuminati. Those who run Christianity, everyone, they are Illuminati. Everyone. Everything is big because of money. The movies we watch, the songs we listen to. It's Illuminati. That's why we have Easter as much bigger than the whole world. Just imagine, the wrong things become big. The true thing becomes small. How do you make a judge of that? You know? We don't. We don't at all. Can we stand up? Can we treat others nicely, those who are Christians out there, when we employ them, whatever we do with them, so that they can understand Islam? They will come to you without words. You can't propagate Islam through words or only. Even your word do it for them. It's a thing, simple thing, a perfect thing. So thank you for all of those at least have listened. We can do something about it. Let's try, not much, just a little bit. We are there. You can come to us. This is one, two, three, four, five. And we can do that. We can try that. I've been trained to do that. I've been doing that alone. Now we've got find organization to do that too. To be with. Why can't we stand up? We can sit and pray. We have to work for Jannah. 
Trust me, Jenna, it will work for you. And when it does, you're going to miss the gate. Watch your step, you don't fall. Thank you, my time. Just save me one minute, which is seconds I can guess I can at least say thank you for listening and thanks for the time. Hope you will reconsider as much as I see from the Muslim world.